Alright, I've got Emmy in the shop. We have an old Crosley tombstone radio that I picked up at the Chelsea swap meet back in the summertime. She was with me, but she doesn't remember. I said so, I did. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. So what we're going to do, I'm, I'm going to bring this thing up on a Variac like we always do. Remember, you got to do the old um, Zenith, remember? Oh, the, yeah, dust, the dusty zenith. zenith. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it up. So what you do is you bring it up and see if. So if it jumps, you need to bring it back down. Yep. But if it's slow, it doesn't jump, then it's got the power. Excellent. So right now, I'm at about 20 volts. And you can see the current meter. So I'm just gonna bring it up. And what we want to see is if there's any life, right? All right. All right. Any power, any right. life. So I'm gonna zoom in so our people can see what we're doing. Okay. Right. Not bad at all, actually. The little tuning dial works. But you know what? Anytime you still have hum and the volume's all the way down, what does that mean? What do you think is bad? I, I probably don't want to. You're mumbling. I can't hear you when you mumble. What's that off of? Dunno. Oh come on, we just watched the movie! I can't understand you when you're mumbling. No, we did not. <sighs> Make time move faster, Daddy. You didn't, we didn't watch that. Charlie and the Chocolate point. Factory. <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate The Oompa Loompas. Remember? <laughs> yeah. What's going on in here? What is going on? He's tired. Are you there? I, I woke up. I woke up. Everyone up at six in the morning. Yeah, I know. Okay, so back to the question. <laughs> There's some hum with the volume all the way down. What do you think would be the bad component? I don't know. <laughs> How about the filter know. capacitor? Capacitors. What does Grandpa change all the time? Uh, the, uh, the capacitors. <sighs> Maybe your capacitors are kind of leaky. I don't know. <laughs> all right, let's open it up. All right, so I flipped it around, Em. We're obviously going to have to pull the chassis out and check the filter capacitors. Can you identify what the filter capacitor is? Is this the main capacitor? Right there? Yeah, it's either that or this thing got hit by a torpedo and it's like stuck in the ship. What do you think? I Let's get the chassis out. Got to watch the speaker cable. I don't want to damage it. And what happens if you Oops. cut the cable? What the heck? Oh boy. What is that big nasty thing? Ugh. Gross. Kind of. Man, I can't get that chassis out of the way. You know, it kind of looks like a... Kind of looks like a brownie to me. Is that a capacitor? It's no big deal. Bite? <laughs> yep, it's a cat. Psych! <laughs> so, you probably want to bite now, huh? Yep, definitely. Alrighty. It's a pretty good brownie. Mm -hmm. Probably better than that cap. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Em. So, yes, it is a filter cap. I cannot read it. It's all torn. It was made by Cornell Doubler. Or doublier. Doubler. Something like that. How's my brownie, by the way? Excellent. Okay. So this is one cap. And then we still got the big Poseidon cap in there, right? The torpedo that hit the chassis. That's torpedo. right there. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, I got the dot of my nose like you got yours. We both got injuries to our noses. I have no idea why that happened. It's very odd. It's I didn't have it until you showed dot. up. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, anyway, we need to cut this out, cut this out, put in a new cap, and see if the problem goes away. Alright? Right toe! Right toe. Alright, so the task at hand is get all of these old caps out of here. You can see we got a lot of papers and drippers, so I'm going to start with the main filter caps, change out those old waxers, We'll retest. So here's some very important information you need to pay attention if you're going to change the filter cap on the Crosley 
655 radio. I noted the gigantic filter cap, right? If you look here, it says 2 times 8 microfarad at 450, and then under it, it says 8 microfarad at 250. So you would assume that, yeah, it's a can cap, common ground on the case, and I've got my three 8 microfarad sections. That is true. However, two of the sections are actually positive terminals, and one is actually a negative terminal, right? So if you look at the schematic, you'll see that there's two filter cap sections that are handling positive voltage, and then the third one goes over to the center tap of the power transformer, and that one is actually in reverse. So if you were to buy a standard filter cap replacement, three section, say at 10 microfarad, and replace it, that thing would be a grenade because one section of it would be reverse bias, very bad. So to eliminate that, I have decided to put in one of these ARS dual 16 microfarad caps. Here's the ground terminal, so 16 and 16. And then I'm going to add one standalone 20 microfarad 450 volt cap. So let's get the new caps installed and get that old Crosley singing safe and sound. All right, hit a little stumbling block here. You see the diameter of the old cap that went into that little hole. Well, here's my new cap. It'll fit into the retainer ring, but the terminals hit the inner diameter of that hole. So what I'm going to do is take a green leaf punch. I'm going to set it down in there. I'm going to open the hole up so that we can clear the terminals. And yep, Purist, guess what? It's not going to have this old crazy looking cap to maintain nostalgics. We're going for functionality on this repair. All right, there's the punch in place bottom side. I'll cut to the top. There it is on top. I've got it centered in the old bracketeer. Now I'll get a wrench on her, turn it, open up the hole, get the new cap in place. New cap is in place in the original retaining ring. I added this rubber here to fill the gap and give it a very secure mount. There's bottom side. We're ready to start wiring, so torpedoes away. The old cap is history. Right, here's a print of the Crosley 655 that came from a rider's manual. There's your power transformer. Rectifier tube, which is a 5Z4. And here, 10XYZ, is that original three section cap that I removed. And if you look closely, you'll see that there's no polarity on those caps, right? I added that for reference and to make this easy, okay? So sections X and Y, I'm using that blue ARS dual cap for because they share the common. So this is how they would connect to resistor 41Y and Z, which is a tapped resistor, okay? The standalone cap is 10Z. That's the one that's reverse polarity. If you follow this diagram, the thing will work fine. If you don't, you get to pick up aluminum and some electrolyte that's all over your bench after the cap explodes. Well, here's a close-up, the final wiring of the new filter cap. The dual cap is here. The negative terminal is back there, and it goes up here to this terminal board, which is actually chassis ground. You hook up per 41 Y and Z, like I showed on the diagram. And then over here is a standalone cap, which meets up with the positive, and its negative goes to the center tap of the power transformer. You follow this, you'll have no issues. So let's power it up. I've got the radio at full voltage now. You can see we got about 266 volts DC across that cap. No smoke or fire. Use my finger for an antenna, see if we get anything out of her. It's trying. A lot better than what it was. 
I have not changed out all the other wax caps. I have not checked the tubes. But the radio is alive and the power supply is healthy. All right, a successful replacement of that gigantic filter cap in the Crosley 655 radio. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did a lot of research on this because I was kind of confused when I saw the configuration of that circuit and then I looked at the schematic and there wasn't enough information, okay? So I was kind of stumped. So I got on the antiqueradios.com forum and I did a little search and I found out that there's a whole bunch of other guys that have had the same issue and there's several reports of their new capacitors blowing up, okay? So imagine you have this radio, you spend 45 bucks on a can cap, you put it in, you hook up the wires, you think everything's cool, kablammy, right? So, so the intent of this video was to demonstrate how to properly install a new filter cap into the Crosley 655 radio, since it is pretty unique. I'm sure you would have to agree. Part two, I'll go in here and replace all those drippy wax caps, check the tubes, clean the controls, etc., and see if we can breathe more life into this old radio. So we'll see you then.